Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to quickly create a video. Now I know I had mentioned previously online that I have a video that's coming out that's pretty important to me um, because it's the biggest one that I've made so far. Um, and I think it's gonna be the most comprehensive and something that will help you guys out quite a bit. Um, just a small teaser, it is about the five most important mechanics that you should learn as quickly as possible. However, I did realize um, sometime through this that there is a very important mechanic that's so, uh, not low level, but just so important to learn ahead of time that I kind of overlooked it, and that is roll. Roll is very important in the game, and so I wanted to give you an idea of how important roll was. So I'm gonna play two games. Uh, one game is going to be with roll, and I'm gonna kind of do an inner monologue thing where I tell you why and when I'm doing things. Um, and then the other one is going to be uh, without roll at all. I'm going to disable roll entirely from my uh, controller and so that I definitely don't accidentally hit it because I'm sure I'm so used to it at this point that I will. But let's see how it goes. So I'll t try, I'll do my best to kind of tell you when and why I use it. And I can tell you the reasons why I would use it ahead of time um, more than anything is for recovery. It's not for shooting at uh, lower levels, just a yeah, great shot by uh, our team there. Um, low level shooting is not going to incorporate roll in fact it's not going to incorporate much other than just trying your hardest to hit the corner sometimes you dodge into it sometimes you don't sometimes you do a little bit of flying with rolling it's about what happens afterwards and it's about your chance to get back on defense it's about your chance to be ready for the second shot that's going to come it's about being prepared for pretty much ooh, shouldn't stop right there it's about being prepared for pretty much anything that comes your way as well as coming off of the wall and taking shots. Now, when you come off the wall and you take shots, you even if you dodge out of it, your car is not going to perfectly roll into the game. Now, did you see what I just did right there? In order to keep momentum there, I rolled out of that um, to the left side of it so that I could keep on going forward with it, recollect myself, and see whether or not I can make another helpful play on that. I'm gonna push into this real fast and see whether or not we can't get it going towards the goal here. Nope, no luck there. I'll go grab some boost and set back up. The other side for it would be on defense. When I go up for a ball, you're almost always flying to a ball on defense. And being able to roll back into position um, so that you're facing the proper direction so you can jump back up and fly again with the least amount of time in between those two actions is wildly important. Great shot again. Wow. That's great. So let's see whether or not I can't go up for a couple of shots here and see whether or not I can give you some better examples of just coming off the wall and rolling or shooting and recovering. Oh gosh. Uh oh, my turn. So I'm going to pump this by. Oh, just barely missed my chance to hit that shot there. Oh gosh. That should be a goal. Yep. Very good. So even just, you know, I know I was just playing after that goal right there, um, but even just coming out of the goal and just being able to roll out of that goal instead of coming off and being upside down is super important. I mean, how many times do you guys end up in the goal, you know? Oops, I accidentally said no instead of okay to him telling me to go for it. I feel terrible. Oh, great touch there. I'll wait for a pass over this side. Oh, it looked like it was going to come from orange. We'll see. Oh, can I get there? Oh, he stopped it. This will come my way, though, maybe. Yep. Anyone going up? I don't see anyone. So let's challenge it and be terrible. Now watch, I'm rolling out to make sure I hit the ground appropriately. It still wasn't exactly what I wanted because I was facing the opposite direction of the ball and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. But still, I landed on my feet and I was able to make a play on it. Now I'm going to roll here in order to hit the wall right there perfectly fine so that I can be here to make this play. That's super important. Now I know for that shot that I just had, I accidentally ended up with my wheels up um, when rolling. It's really important to make sure your wheels are down so that you can blast away. There's a lot of awesome YouTube videos and instructional videos about the importance of that and it's absolutely true. If you really want true recovery time, you should be landing wheels down. <gasps> I missed it. Aztec, help me out, buddy. Nice, nice. Well done, well done. Uh, let's see if I can't just challenge that just to keep the ball moving. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm telling you, this is the after school stuff. So right there, just rolling just a little bit so that even though I dodged from the ground up into that roll, that ball right there really helped. And no roll needed right there. I could just tell that I could just slam my nose down and just have, be on all fours. I'll head over. 
I can probably go for this just to make sure we're the next people who touch it. Oh, it's like a perfect center for the team though. Hopefully they're back. Let's see if I can't get the demo. I can. That's awesome. That'll give us a little bit more time to recover here. Okay, off center shot, which is really good. Let's see if this centers. Nope. Oh, does this one though? It does. Got it. Ugh. Minute 22 left with just a couple seconds to go. Hopefully we'll have this, right? Oh gosh, I'm gonna go up for it just to make sure I'm challenging. And I guess I can go up for that as well. And again, rolling left here so that my wheels hit all four up against the wall. Perfectly fine. And I'm just back just to hang out for a little bit. But yeah, so while we have kind of a second and while we're doing really well, rolling is, is pretty difficult when it's on your X button. And the reason for that is because at the same time that you're rolling with the button um, being X, you also have to boost. You're feathering boost as you're flying. So you're rolling in the air and you're flying. A lot of people combat this different ways. I know probably the most popular one would be to take the left bumper um, and make sure that that gets mapped to your roll button or you can bind individual rolling rolling left and rolling right to bumper left and bumper right I think those are the two most important ones a lot of people do different things right so I'm not really representing or exactly representing or telling oh gosh what everybody's doing but making sure that you have a different binding would be important that way you don't have to hit both circle and what square sorry I'm not that good with um, I'm not that good with the Xbox controller, sorry, the uh, PS4 controller, but B and X also at the same time. Looks like that should be a shot on goal. Great shot. This is a good team. Look at that. So if you could see that, he comes off the wall there, he rolls out so that he can get a good shot with his nose. It's impossible for you to take a shot off of the wall and expect to hit the ground with all fours without doing using roll at all so you're unfortunately just gonna be flopping around waiting patiently uh, for you to have an opportunity to right yourself by being upside down and hitting X let's see if we can't help this shot out oh gosh I can be there no oh so close oh well that's fine so there you go there's a little bit of roll and plus look look at this awesome little dance thing that you can do afterwards by rolling you can't do a little dance on that without it <laughs> sorry Okay, so I'm gonna hop into the controls, and as you can see here, my air roll is going to be my left bumper. Um, I play with an Xbox controller, and I'm going to clear that binding so that I don't actually use it this time around. And we'll see if that will make a difference. Um, if I wanted to get fancy, I guess I could count the amount of seconds that I'm losing based on recovery time, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how we do here. To be honest, I'm actually a little worried. I'm not going to play well at all with this because I'm going to expect to turn into a shot and also roll just a little bit into a shot and that roll isn't going to be there. And so instead, I'm going to lean back, nose up in the air, flying towards a ball and turn left and right. Awesome good life. Sorry, good luck. Have fun. Awesome GLHF from Awesome Pug. I love pugs and I love positivity. So this will be great. So no use for it yet. Oh, I'm not going to be able to turn around fast enough on that one. But let's see if we can get some dribbling in here. Let's see if I can't run by him. And center for a shot. Nothing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if I should challenge that or not. I'm going to go back because both of them are up there. I probably should have turned on that or could have turned on that. But not necessarily important. Plus... I don't think it was that difficult for me getting past that. I don't know what type of level players were playing, but looking at sort of this action in the corner here, I think we'll have other opportunities. So, oh no. All right, off to the chase. He is not going or he is going? He's not going. I will go then. There we go. That made it pretty easy once he was very obviously just gonna boop it to us. And I get demoed, that's okay. Epicu Sevu. I can see my chance to shoot this. Oh, not good at all. I was hoping I could just turn into that at that point. I definitely was that wasn't because of no roll. I'll keep it on the side here. Small, small challenges as we go. 
good clear. Uh, they're in the corner, so I'll rotate back. Oh, you don't have to apologize. It's okay. Oh, they're driving backwards. That'll be interesting. Pug life. Um, missed it entirely. That's no good. Just kind of being there. <laughs> Just a body block. Let's see if I can't beat him. I know I, I can hear him behind us. Here's my first chance to go up for a ball. Not the best opportunity. If I would have been able to roll into that, I also could have kind of slammed it more towards the goal. But instead, if if I'm not using roll, oh, I had to go for it. Um, it just would have. I just my only option was just to kind of hit it based on where my f car was facing when I went up for the ball. So um, yeah, I'll challenge here, up the wall, and firing, and then driving down the wall. I guess one way that you can, uh, I guess, mitigate the potential bad side of not having roll is to always roll down or drive down the wall if you're on it but there's a lot of more advanced tactics that are going to require you jumping off the wall so wave dashing comes to mind you've got to be able to jump off the wall from a couple of feet right there and wave dash really quickly and now I'm, i feel as though i'm already like kind of adjusted to the idea where now i'm not uh see i have to kind of wait for myself to turn there and spin and We'll see. We'll see how well this goes. Maybe I'll play um, a little bit more if this doesn't really show the importance of it. But because I didn't have roll, I, I had to make, or I my only option was to make a risky one. Now, rolling out of here, that's impossible. I could have done a half roll um, or a small barrel roll in order to get that into the goal the way that I would want it. Um, but couldn't have done it. So I just kind of fell to my misery. Oh, trying to pick up a little bit of boost here in the center for the sake of it. Nope, gonna miss that. Let's see if we can't demo. Yeah, there we go. I'll turn back on this, because that looked a little scary. He's looking for boost, so... Oh, he's got a little boost. Oh, I didn't expect that to be a ceiling shot. Oh, I can go here, though. Nope, missing it. I just feel so debilitated. So for that shot right there, I was like, oh, I can go up. And then thinking, oh, I don't have boost. Or sorry, I don't have roll. I can't go. Really, really hurts. It hurts my like level of play not having it. Here we go. Here's a shot. Unrelated. Just kind of flopping around on the ground right there. That's okay, though. I'll be here for whatever center that they have. Nope. We'll take it on back. Oh, wow, forcing it into the goal. That's a first goal of the game here. I feel like I'm not contributing at all to this game. Ugh, grab boost. Hang out for just a second. Let's make sure this isn't a boomer coming off the corner there from anybody. It is. It is. See, with that, like I could have turned into that to the side right there, but instead I just had to hit it straight on and just pray that my corner was lined up by the time that I left. Oh, and... There we go. So now I'm upside down in the goal, unable to turn around and make a U-turn to get back and help out my team. I'm gonna go grab boost. See if I can't be here for something. Nope. There we go. Nope, no such luck. Ah, oh, just go up. Nope. Anyway, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope I proved my point. There is a very real importance of rolling and learning it as quickly as possible. It's not that difficult to master in terms of recovery. Eventually, you are going to use it more often than not for your shots. And then finally, any sort of wall play, no matter what you're doing, if you intend to hit the ground on all fours and you can roll out of there as speedily as possible, you are going to have to incorporate a little bit of roll into your game. So like, comment, subscribe, but please talk to me in the comments. The more we communicate, the better we all get. Thanks, guys.